Hello and welcome to the Reef Talk Extra channel and today I'm going to be unboxing the AquaWiz Alkalinity Controller. Now there are various alkalinity testers on the market already but the USP of the AquaWiz is that it doesn't use reagents and it has a very funky way of testing your alkalinity which we're going to go into in a tiny bit of detail today but in more detail when I come and do a full review later. Before we get into that though there is of course the usual disclaimer. The AquaWiz was given to me for free and I get to keep it after I made the review. I'm of course free to say whatever I want both good and bad and AquaWiz don't get to see the video before you do nor do they get any input into what I say. All right with all that being said then let's open the box. Okay the first thing we come across is the installation guide. Now this is all written in kind of broken English. On one side it's all uh, in Chinese so if you speak Mandarin your quid's in but there are a couple of things that are a little bit funny about the directions on the install. So it says for example the first direction is wire put this gap. <laughs> so once you've wire put this gap you then move on to the other things and there are a couple of other bits in there that are just a kind of slightly clunky English but I have seen other people set it up it looks relatively easy I'm not going to do that in this video but if it's awkward or a little bit difficult I'll tell you when I actually come back to do the full review and I'll show you any issues I had and how I solved them. Now apart from the instructions all you really get in the, the box is the aquas itself and a power supply. Let's just have a quick look at the power supply I'm not expecting anything particularly fancy no, it is a little 5 volt power supply, so nice and low power. It's made by a company called UB Tech. Not exactly mean well, but to be fair, it'll probably do the job. Then we have the actual unit itself, and there she be. Let me just get the box out of the way. And here we are then. This is the Aquis. Now, they've actually updated this. The cover used to be yellow, which looked a bit funny, to be honest. This is still not like a, a premium build quality piece of equipment. Um, it's all made of acrylic. It's quite heavy, to be fair. It does feel solid, but uh, it's not like a. It, it's not the sort of thing that you would expect to see from Kessel Red Sea Ecotec, and it's very much kind of a sub premium build quality, is how I would describe it. But with that being said, it's perfectly solid, and what I really mean is that it just doesn't look quite as expensive and premium as the more expensive alkalinity testers. Now, to get into it, you need to undo this little screw on top, and I'm embarrassed to tell you that it took me about half an hour to figure out that you need to do that. Before that, I was just trying, pissing in the wind basically, trying to open it without knowing that is what you need to do. The lid just lifts, up like, lifts off like that then, and you have a little hatch that you get out of the way, and then you've got the pH probe and a few other bits in there that you will need to set it up. The way it works then, let me just tell you, get these things out first and now I'll run over roughly how it works. So basically it fills up both of these test vials with uh, with salt water from your aquarium and then it, it's got an air stone in one of them so it bubbles it out and it's got a pH probe. It bubbles off, I believe, it bubbles off the, uh, the carbon dioxide and then you give it a reference measure. You use a HANA tester or a salifer, whatever. You tell it what the alkalinity is and then it will work out what the true alkalinity is from there onwards and you don't ever need to use reagent. Now that's a really rough explanation of how it works without actually having ever used it myself. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that when I've had it set up and running for a little while. And actually there's a couple of things I wanna point out in terms of what I mean by build quality. Because it's all acrylic, acrylic is fairly basic. It's not like it's an injection molded piece of plastic that's really slick. And you have all these different panels. And for example, you can see there, where is it? This little lid up here, this little bit that houses the, the screen is a little bit separated from the top and some of the wires are on display so it kind of looks a little bit like they should be hidden out of the way but to be honest with you none of that really matters if it performs well. Now in terms of the unboxing experience that's more or less everything and the only other thing I'll say is that in terms of the size it's a reasonable size it's certainly very heavy it's a reasonable size so it will take up a little bit of space in your sump cabinet but actually given that there's no other bottles there's no you don't need a waste container you don't need a reagent bottle this is it that is the only thing you will need so that is how much space it will take up there are a couple of let me show you the uh, the inlets on the background on the back there so there are a couple of tubes back in here and you'll need obviously a bit of space for them so it won't quite sit flush against your uh, your sump cabinet actually the one other thing i should tell you about is that this is an alkalinity controller and that means that if your alkalinity is low it also has a spare dosing pump so it will top it up automatically i haven't actually got to use that as yet so i'll have to work out how that actually works and i'm never going to hand over the keys 
uh, of my own alkalinity on my own tank to a machine anyway, but it's an interesting feature and some people look for that. In terms of the unboxing then, I think that's about everything I need to tell you. So what I'm gonna do now is go away and get it set up and then I'll come back in a few weeks time when I've put it through its paces and I've kind of understood how it works, any flaws and what I like about it. If you've got any questions in the meantime, let me know in the comment section below and make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and the Reef Talk main channel. And until next time, happy reefing.